Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Light Beams Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another episode of What's Sold on eBay. Well, guess what? Sales have been horrible. I know, but I am taking this as a special opportunity to literally go through item by item, auction by auction, and everything in the house. It is a huge undertaking that I always wanted to make because I have such a large death pile, pile of deaths. The piles that have been accumulating, 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 and I have not been doing anything with. So, during this slow time, this is like how I should say that stock market time where the prices are crashing, you start buying, buying, buying. Well, on a reseller perspective, this is the time to flood the marketplace and keep the marketplace fully stocked so that when people start buying again and when things start turning around, guess what? You have a completely stocked full store. Mm. All I have to do is hang in there. It's not going to be easy. But I did receive a viewer question, and this was actually a question from the very only sale that I have made this week. Now, normally, I have a special where I do a um, book lot special of 10 books. I'll be honest, I used to do it for $10. Now I raised the price to $12. Shh. So I raised it for $12. And um, I've sold a couple already. Um, this was the only one that sold yesterday. But I wanted to go through this and explain what it is I do, how I do it, and why I do it. Now, for those of you who know, I am like the book queen. I get access to a lot of books. Now, what I used to do with the books is I used to bring it to a book place that would either give me cash or store credit. Well, that book place, due to sometimes they're obviously closed, and also they were being very, very restrictive on the type of books. The books I thought they would take, no, they were looking for books that I usually avoid. I have a tendency to avoid certain types of books. I do not take bestsellers. I do not take westerns. I do not even touch romance. And generally speaking, I try to stay away from kids' books. What I usually do is I focus on the self-help books, the religious books, the sci-fi books, um, your nonfiction books. Those are the types of books because for me, I feel like I have a better opportunity for selling on eBay. But then when I go on eBay and find the actual price after shorting the books, I realize, okay, not always are those books as valuable as I thought. But that's okay because then what I do is I bundle them up. So I had a buyer that bought one of my $10 book bundles, but in this case it was actually a $12 book bundle. So, she, so bought one of my $12 book bundles. And the title of this particular book bundle is it's a mystery lot of self-help books. So it'd be self-help educational type of books. And I'm going to show you the 10 books. This way it gives you an idea because the rules of the bundles are it's totally a mystery. All the books are in excellent quality. There'll be a mixture between hardcover and softcover. There will never be any doubles, even if you get multiple lots. If you decide to buy 10, 20, 30, 40, there will never be any double books. Some of the books may be ex-library books, but I try to ensure the quality. And I'll be honest, this quality of this particular set, absolutely beautiful. So I set up a um, book of 10 books, which is all self-help books, and I'm just going to show you what these self-help books are. So as an example, we have 90 Days by Michael Watkins. This is the first 90 days of critical success strategies for new leaders at all levels from your Harvard Business School. So this is self-help in business. My Journey with Maya by Travis Smiley. This is actually a biography of Maya Angelou. Um, it's a memoir. It's a great self-help book, feel-good book, feminine, powerful women book. Speaking of feminine, how about this? The Mary Kay Way. This is the story of uh, Mary Kay and how she started an empire. 
and its timeless principle from America's greatest woman entrepreneur. She is going to go into the details of her business and how she became so popular. Remember, all types of business self-help. Then we have coconut water for health and healing. This is a great thing for what the benefits of coconut How about The Gold of Friendship? This is a book that's all about poems, uh, little insights about strengthening your friends. For your parents out there, we have Hold You Mommy. This is um, Moments with God for Moms on the Go. This is actually a religious book, but it's also a book for mothers. Then we have No Longer a Slum Dog, Bringing Hope to the Children in Crisis. It's that feel-good story of rags to riches sort of story. And then for your health and well-being, the No Salt Cookbook. And then, for better or for worse, Understanding Your Husband by Gary Smalley. And then finally, Feng Shui of Abundance. So this particular book lot is going to be wrapped up. Price-wise, it is going to cost approximately $6 via media mail. I've never had any problems with media mail since I've been doing that. I wrap it tightly up in palette wrap and plastic wrap, and then I wrap it up in brown paper. Even though it bulks out, um, they know that I do this all the time. It stays nice and secure. Write out the label, send it off to the post office, and like I said, it's going to cost about $6, which means now that I raise my pro my uh, price to $12, I'm making roughly a $5, $6 profit after they take out fees. So I'm really happy. Fortunately, that was only one sale. And, um... That is how I go through my books. I mean, I have cases and cases and cases of books. And if there's viewers out there or anybody that is interested in some bulk books, simply for yourself, for others, I do multiple lots. I either do a religious lot. This is part of my self-help lot. I will do a women's lot. I will do a man's lot. I will even do a children's lot. Um, the only thing I can't guarantee is I can't guarantee specific authors or specific books. It is totally random. It's whatever I have in stock at the time. So if you have any questions or if you're interested in one of those lots, you know what to do. Write a comment, contact me privately, and I will get back to you because these lots are going fast. I mean... Yes, this was the only one I sold yesterday, but this is actually the fourth lot this week that I sold. So that's kind of exciting that people are getting back to reading again, which is good. Gotta get that time for yourself. Get lost in a book. In fact, even I started reading as well, and I, I have access to all these books. So anyway, where we stand now... Um, I am quite fearful of my business. I mentioned that one of the things I'm doing is I'm going through my death pile with all the stuff. Um, I extended my portfolio where now literally what I'm doing is I am posting on eBay, Facebook, Macari, and then I just started Top Hat Auctions. Um, I want to see what happens with that. I only started a few items and because I'm getting mixed reviews from Top Hat. A lot of people say it's uh, Chinese garbage. Um, I'm not selling from China. I'm also not selling internationally. I'm keeping it within the United States, and I'm only selling um, to the U.S. So I want to see whether it is a platform that can be useful for me. Um, there's two ways. There's the fixed price, and there's the auction you pretty much have to battle and pay for that top spot in the auction. I'm trying it out on the bare minimum, and they're even giving me a one-on-one -on -one appointment on Monday to speak to a representative who will go a long ways on how to set up a campaign to maximize my sales. It's a freebie um, appointment that they give. In addition to that, they also give you a $10 um, store credit for doing that. So I'm like, hey, why not? I'm a new top hatter. Might as well explore it. It's a 15-minute appointment. At least maybe they can answer some questions for me as far as um, getting into campaigns and fee structures. 
for right now, I'm just doing the freebie, no cost, no nothing. We'll see what happens. So my advice to everybody, and this is going to be tough, it's extremely tough for me, particularly since eBay is one of my only sorts of income, and I am going days and days and days without any sales. It's not a good sign. But my advice to everyone is keep on listing, keep on going through the items that are in your house. Keep on going through as much as you can, because think of this is this is the slow time. And I really believe things will pick up and turn around once everything gets settled. So with that, this is a quick video. Good luck. Keep on selling. Keep focusing on your business. And until next time, this is Melanie Lightbeam with Lightbeam's Treasures and Curiosities.